you must have had internal discussions of if we can make it push a button on Uber to this. get a taxi. I love it. Why can't it be push a button to get bagels and locks and a paper? I mean, I, there is a trend in society which I would say is an you know a trend towards an on-demand lifestyle. Yes. There's a lot of things I want on demand. A lot of things. Right. Some of those things you can't. Can't talk about. Can't talk about. Some of those things are best left to Craigslist. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. In some cities it might even be legal. What you're talking yes, about. Yes, absolutely. We're a global company. Right. Um, and yeah, it's not saying we're going there, but <laughs> In whatever. Amsterdam. Push your button, get weed. <laughs> push your button, get a prostitute. <laughs> okay. So um, I you're think not your push instincts. Your button for those the bottom things. line is that your instincts, your instincts are are pretty solid. Right. Is that when you have the logistics the logistics fabric yes. underneath it. And you have, I mean, we're a math company. I have a whole division in my company called the math department. Right. Right. Like we have PhDs, we have a computational neuroscientist, a rocket scientist, a, uh, a nuclear physicist, like crunk, crunching numbers so that when you push the button, the car is right fricking next to you because right. we knew you were gonna push it wow. or somebody was. Yeah, precognition. Yeah. So it's just a matter of doing the math, taking the market you have. And then once you have San Francisco, and you have that driver, there's no reason that driver couldn't do an errand for you. Or, you know, maybe not that driver in particular. But maybe but somebody on a, a scooter. You know, again, when we price discriminate, we have all different types of cars and different ah, kinds of fleets. Yes. Like, again, once you have that liquidity, yes. and once you have that. Once like, you have, and by liquidity, I mean you have the Uber app on my phone, and I, yeah. you know I, I know how to press it. And we have access to the supply. You know, I saw something in France that, that was pretty fascinating. Um, when I was coming from the airport, they have a service where a motorcycle will pick yes. you up. Yes. You know about this. Yeah, yeah, of course. This is the most, I'm a, I am the, such, such a Francophile now. I just started shopping there. That's interesting. I've become a total Francophile. That's I'm, interesting. I'm down with the socialism. Um, I don't believe you. I, you know what? I, these things of socialism I like. Like I love this mandated sample, the mandated sales twice a year. And oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, and a bread line, not but so it's, much. It's but you like it from like a. It's like a. It's like a quirky novelty. Yes, yes. I don't think I, I don't think I could. If you were the, the merchant, if you were the merchant, you'd no. be pissed. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. I do not want to pay the one percent wealth tax. And if you actually live there and you only had a sale twice a year, that would suck. Yes. Uh, okay. So. In France, they'll <laughs> pick you up on there. a motorcycle. Yes, okay, go ahead. And yeah. they'll drive you from the airport, splitting traffic, because it's a pain in the ass to it's get amazing. from Charles de Gaulle. It's amazing. I'm going to do this next time just for the fun of it if I don't have a roller. Look, we will launch in Paris. Oh. I want motorcycles on there. Yeah, I mean, how beautiful would it be to have a motorcycle fleet? But that's something you could innovate into. I mean, I don't know what the insurance would be, but if you could get somebody. Now, um, everybody's talking about Airbnb for taxis. Sure. This is a crazy idea to have some random person pick you up, and also, is it, would it be illegal? It'd be, it'd be. I mean, it'd be illegal. Yeah, it would be just straight up illegal. <laughs> yeah, it, well, unless, unless the the driver had a license, what's uh, called a TCP license in California. Got it. And he was insured. Right. So if you can solve like getting people these licenses, which is not hard to do, it's actually quite straightforward. But really, it's the insurance problem. And the insurance becomes big. Expensive. The insurance is like you know five six hundred dollars a month. Right. And so, so you better be making car. enough money to make up for that. Right. So Airbnb renting out your couch, not that big of a deal because you don't need to have insurance. But there's still some things in Airbnb that you know it's an illegal like in certain areas is illegal hotel operation, but it still happens. Right. Right. This gets. You don't want to get into that kind of business. We'll see. I mean, the yeah. bottom line is that the bottom line is that we try to go into a city and we try to be totally legitimately legal. Right. Um, yeah, there's no reason to just be sit there and be under the uh, waiting for the bomb to drop. No. Right? I, mean, I mean, we have a reputation system, but ultimately, if somebody is a good driver, even yeah. if it's sort of like Airbnb style, they ultimately, you know, if they're making real money, they, you know. They're just going to be good at what they do. They'll end up having a town car. Or yeah, something. you don't yeah. need this extra capacity issue like you do for couches and guest houses, right? I mean, there's enough cab drivers around to service the populace. We'll see. Oh, you think there needs to be more? Well, look, I mean, we're going to get to a point in San Francisco where there's no more cars. People won't have cars. There's no more. No, what I mean is there's no more town cars. Oh, really? Yeah. Because you're increasing demand that much. Yeah, we're just expansive. Right. And so. Then so it, who loses in that? The bus? Bicycles? Uh, look, Who's losing? The cabs? Or is it all a, new demand? It's, a, it's, it's expansive. Right. But I, I remember, it's, it's, it's fixed supply. Right. 
So really what's happening is people are losing now. Right. And when we roll out, mm. then people lose less. Right. right. So what do you think would be, aside from the motorcycle thing, what do you think would be the perfect natural extension of the service? Like what's your on a personal level, what would be your favorite thing to add to the service? I'm not saying you're going to do it, but what would be the per we are your personal level? I mean, like I just want stuff brought to me, right? right. Like whatever I need right now. Hmm. Um, so, you know, I think Cosmos are very interesting. Right. I, uh, you know, or like you could go. So Cosmos, like, give me what I need right now. Like, just right. get it for me. Get it to me. Right. But there's maybe one that's even more focused. You could say, like, delivery of food is an right. example. Right. Right. So here, give me my. Like, farmer's market box or yeah. you know you like to eat at a restaurant they don't do delivery ah so now you're doing that like yeah we have liquidity in in cars right so we can make that really interesting right that's I'm not like, saying we do it I'm right. just saying like that this would be is, your number this one this is like an interesting extension. it's just an interesting thing to think about right. while we're going and taking care of the transportation that would be one of my favorite extensions which is they do have this like dine out service here right. in LA right. where like the restaurants that refuse to deliver yeah Use that, yeah. and they just put ten bucks on it, or ten percent, yeah. or fifteen bucks. And, and there's ways to do it. We use it all. We there's it all a time. lot of interesting algorithms to make that efficient. There's something called sure. the traveling salesman problem that we would need to be really rocking. Tell me that. So let's say you had like, the, here, here's the classic computer science problem: fifteen cities. You're a traveling salesman. You're starting at this city. You want to end up at this city, and you want to go to those fifteen cities in the most, you know, in the shortest, the shortest distance possible. Hmm. I think, I don't know where it is exactly, maybe it's 15 or 20, but once you get to like 15 cities, I don't know the exact number, no supercomputer in the world can solve that problem. Wow. It's just the fan out on the complexity of that problem happens so fast, you can't solve that problem anymore. Right. It like makes chess look like child's game. Right. Just um, too many paths. It's too many paths. Yeah. And so um, basically the traveling salesman problem is not one of optimizing like or getting the optimal, it's about optimizing. Right. And so being as efficient as you possibly can, this is what is the biggest thing in the jet industry. Right. Right. Is yeah, what do we do with all these empty private jets? Yeah. We need to move them around in the most efficient way possible. Right. And right now it's like everybody tries to right. make some I mean that's always right. a joke about Uber, it's gonna be an Uber private right. jet service, but if you did and that, so that would just be a marketing thing, right? Well, no, not necessarily. Look, the jet business it, just private jet business is actually bigger than the commercial jet business. Really? Didn't yeah. Wow. It's something like 30 or $40 billion wow. a year. So the other side of this, like we talked about, okay, let's deliver some food. Maybe. Uber jets. So Uber jets, I press a button and... And a jet comes and picks you up off of Santa Monica Boulevard. Well, wow. Like <laughs> Uber uh, chopper. Uber chopper. So let's say you're in Midtown in New York, yeah. and you're like, Pick me up on the top oh of my God, I need to get to JFK ASAP. Right. Town car picks you up, takes you to the nearest helipad, and boom, you pop on over to JFK. Uber chopper will work. That would make sense, because they, yeah. do, they do have that service. You can also take it to the Hamptons and stuff yeah. like that. Wow, Travis, we could talk for hours, and we did. Uh, an hour and 20 minutes in. Wow, we, the, did, we did an hour and we 20. We did an hour and 20, and it's one of the best episodes we've ever done. Thanks for coming in and being so honest. Yeah. If you haven't tried Uber, uh, it's coming to your city, and you can use it. Even Chicago, if you're just... Boston, and D.C. in the next few months. Wow. Um, and We're already Seattle, New York, and San Francisco. All you need to do to sign up and, is download the Francisco. iPhone app. Yeah. And then put in your credit card information. That's right. You can do an Android app? or We have an Android app. Oh, you have an Android app? Yeah, and you yeah. can also use SMS if you want. Oh, you you just SMS? text the number, you just text your location. Oh. Like I go, corner of Santa Monica. I didn't know that. Yeah, Santa Monica and Beverly Glen. And it knows my phone number already, so it knows that's me? Yeah. Oh, and I didn't then, even know and that feature you, existed. It's basically, you gotta communicate that it's to people. I know, it's like command line Uber. It's I would beautiful. prefer that. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. You can text it, do oh, it. 827 that's the short code. I love it. If you want your business to succeed online, it has to stand out, and that's why you need a beautiful, world-class website. The good news is you don't have to hire an expensive designer anymore, nor do you need a bunch of developers. No, Squarespace has all the tools you need to claim your domain and start building your company. Hey, maybe you got a product to sell. Maybe you want to show off some samples of your work. Maybe you've got a new service you're providing. Well, Squarespace is the all-in-one tool you need for your business to grow and flourish. And they offer beautiful templates. Maybe you want to start an online course or you're scheduling appointments for people. Maybe you're generating client invoices. All of that is built into the product. Everything you create with Squarespace is pre-optimized to show up in search engines as well. So you don't need to hire some expensive SEO person. Nope. 
They're building your meta descriptions. They're setting you up with an auto-generated sitemap, and the SEO is done before you even get started. Plus, there's a new AI-powered feature. It's called Blueprint, which makes it easier than ever before to customize your website and make it really pop. So check out squarespace.com slash twist for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash twist to get 10% off your first website or domain purchase. That's squarespace.com slash twist.